This time on Legacy 4x4, we're gonna replace the interior on the Dodge. Uh, it's getting a little smelly with all the dog hair in here. Um, not the real reason, it's because we're gonna put some buckets and some harnesses in it and uh, kind of streamline all the interior so it's more conducive to crawling. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get right into it. Like I said, we're gonna tear apart all this original interior stuff. I just don't have a need for the interior anymore. And we're gonna put those nice bucket seats that you just saw in the little intro uh, into the Dodge and use those as the only seats. So we're gonna have three seats, two in the front, one in the rear, and that's my plan. But, you know, this is all getting in preparation for next week. Jake and I are gonna put a full exo cage on it, do two doors on it, and really tie together all of the fundamentals of body and cosmetics to like, make the final picture of the Dodge come into fruition. So that's the plan for the Dodge. So this week, I'm gonna try and get the interior as prepped as I can before any of that tube work. Like I said, which is gonna encase tearing down this old interior and uh, installing what I have and doing the bed liner and you know, just getting everything in, just getting everything ready for that final look next week. So without further ado, let's just get right into it and start tearing down this old interior. Okay, all I'm gonna do for the mounts for this jumper seat is gonna use some two by four, pie cut it, it's about 15 inches each way, pie cut a little angle and make it look pretty. Attach that to the bottom of the jumper seat and then weld that to the cab. There's not gonna be a lot of specialness that goes into making this mount. It's gonna be uh, sturdy, built, and uh, semi as in very permanent. So that's it, that's how the jumper seat's going in. Okay, don't mind the mess. This is how the interior turned out. I skipped a few steps. I went ahead and put the driver's seat in. Uh, it was getting late, but at least now I can show you how the passenger seat's gonna go in and how this is all gonna line up. It's really simple, really. Front seats are a two by four, also welded to the floor of the truck. These are all very permanent. The sliders are welded to the top of the two by four. And then, you know, the slider mechanism that came with these eBay, Amazon special seats is what attaches the seat to the slider. That's how those are created. Here's how the interior turned out. It's uh, pretty simple. The entire roof is removed, all the headliners, all the electronics, everything's removed. I'm gonna leave the soundproofing in the front as well as that rubber soundproofing Dodge put in the factory 20 years ago. No point to get rid of it, or I'm just gonna cover it with bed liner. guys it's the next morning and uh, that's it for that one here's how it turned out like I said everything got bedlined seats are in place those are the three seats two in the front fully adjustable sliders I'm waiting for the top two mounts of the five point that's gonna include tube work that's where I'm waiting on those rear jumper seat just because uh, why not you never know whole back got bedlined as well as the roof and that's how it turned out it's a little uneven because it's drying it's just the next morning I just put a bolt I just put a coat of black paint over the bed liner. That way it's all like a unanimous color. And yeah, that's how it turned out. I'm really happy with it. I fit in it perfectly and uh, the slider should allow anyone else to fit in it. So, yep. Next time you see this thing though, it's gonna be getting its roll cage, tube doors, and uh, you know, we're gonna keep making progress on this Dodge. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be really cool when it's done. I promise you, just imagine those doors are gone with some tube doors and some tube work and some roll cage work and you know. Anyways. Here's the driver's side. Hope you guys have a great day and I will catch you guys next time.